Hey guys, my name is Maddie. This is Yoga Sculpt um, Express 30 minutes, all lane eight music. Again, I have my AirPods in. I'm pre recording this, which means um, if you could pull up this playlist, I linked it below. It's called YS 30 minute 26 featuring lane eight. Again, 30 minutes, it's going to go by super quick. All you need is a pair of weights. I'll demo body movements too if you don't want weights, but know that adds on that additional challenge. Other than that, water, mat. Um, again, this will go by super quick. I'm going to have an upper body focus. I know we've done a lot of lower body, so this will start to bring in more upper body. Um, if you can pull up that playlist, make sure it's off shuffle. So with Yoga Sculpt, we want to go to the beat. So I'm going to give a three-second countdown. The first song is Road. We'll all press that at the same time. Then it should go as planned, and it should go to the beat. I'll keep you updated on what song we're at, just in case um, yours is a little off. So let's press Road in three, two, one, press that song and turn your volume up loud. We're going to start today in a soup to body kanasana on your mat. So come to a seat in the middle of your mat. Bring your big toes together to touch. Spread your knees to the outside edges of your mat and slowly lower your back, your neck, and your heart all the way down onto your mat. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly and just start to breathe right away. Big open mouth inhales. Bigger open mouth exhales. Let's do a few of those together. Big inhale. Fill up through your mouth. Fill up. Exhale. Let it go. Feel your belly inflate and deflate with every breath. One more time together. Big inhale. Fill up through your mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Your next inhale. Seal your lips. Inhale through your nose, activating your ujjayi pranayama, your breath of victory. This breath creates heat throughout our entire body. We'll come back to it throughout the next 30 minutes to build that internal heat throughout. Big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Feel that oceanic sound in the back of your throat with these breaths. Big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your nose. Continue on with your breath. You're getting comfortable in the four corners of your mat. The four corners of the room you are in. Again, this is only 30 minutes, so we'll start right away. On your next inhale, bring your knees into your chest. Give them a big squeeze. Bring your forehead up to me, squeezing in the tightest little ball you've been in all day. Big inhale here. And on your exhale, tabletop your feet, flexing your feet towards the back wall. Let your neck rest on your mat and bring your hands behind your neck, spreading your elbows out wide. So rather than crunching in, you want to barely see your elbows. We'll start with basic crunches here, just in four. Last three, lift and lower, only two. And one right here, we lift, lower, up, down, lift, lower, lift. For eight, seven, Six, five, legs straight up in four, three to the sky in two, and one. We climb the rope. Let's go left, right, left. Trying to touch the opposite side of your ankles here. Left, right for eight, seven, six, five, only four. Meet me in both. Three, last two, and one. Slowly get that momentum shift up into a boat pose. Always option to keep your feet on the floor here for that added challenge. They come off. We twist it right, center, left, center, right, center, nice and slow. For eight, seven, six. Five, speed it up in four, three, two, and one. Right, then left. We go right, left, right. Working your obliques right away. Left, right. For eight, seven, we hold in six. Last five, give me four. You got this. Last three. Only two, hold that boat in one, just right here, just for four. Last three, hands to heart in two, lower that boat down, hover your feet, last one, just hold here for four. Last three, 
only two, back up in one, one more time, just hold for four, last three, only two, and one, hold it here for four, last three, let it go in two, and one, let it go, take a nice big good morning stretch, reach your hands towards the back of the room, stretch your feet forward, and after your next inhale, bring your knees into your chest, Start to rock and roll the length of your mat with enough momentum to be in a neutral tabletop position right here. In our tabletop position, shoulders back over your wrists, hips over your knees, lengthen your back and spine. Create one long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes. Bring your gaze a few inches in front of your mat. So rather than crunching your neck in, we want to lengthen your neck here. Inhale, cow pose, push your belly towards the sky, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, gaze in between your thighs. One more time together, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Take a few cat cows on your own here, adding in whatever organic movement your body may be asking for. Maybe you want to roll out your wrists, ankles, and neck, thread the needle. Start to get loose right away. Start to even out your sides. If you thread the needle on the right, even it out on the left. Neutral tabletop position is where we'll meet when you're ready to get there. Now, if you have a weight for me, grab it. We're gonna start with those weights right away. Put it behind your right knee socket. We go to donkey kicks, bring our right knee into our chest and up. Just in four, three, two, on my feet. It goes in, up, in, up. Always option for no weights here, you guys. This adds a little more to those glutes. In, up, in. For four, last three, stay up in two. And one, find the pulse just for four. Last three, hold it high in two. And one, right here it goes, crunch, knee to elbow, crunch. Taking these a little slower, crunch. Crunch. Yes, you can. Give me four. Last three. We pulse in two. Hold it to your elbow in one. Just find that pulse for four. Should be burning. Three. Two. And one. Inhale. Reset. Exhale. Let's switch it out. Put that weight behind your left knee socket. Time to start with those donkey kicks. Just in four. Three. Two. One, we take it in, out, in, out. Yes, you can. If you use no weights on the right, try and mimic that here on the left just to even out your sides. For four, three, hold it high, and two, and one, and pulse it up just for four. Three. Last two, elbow the knee, and one, crunch it in. We take it in, out, in, out. Yes, you can. Going at your own pace here, you guys. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, it's up to you. For four, three, hold it to your elbow, two, one, and crunch it in just for four, three, two, and one, lengthen, reset. Exhale, neutral tabletop position. Let go of that weight. Put it back in front of you. We'll grab it soon. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, hover your knees about two inches off the ground and hold here for four. Last three. Only two. Down dog in one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your booty high to the sky. Start to walk out your down dog, bending your right then left knee. Coming up onto your toes, sinking down into your heels. The down dog you're doing now will feel a whole lot different than what we do later. So feel it nice and tight. See how we change. Right away in that downward dog position. Inhale, lift your heels high to the sky. Exhale, sink your heels down into your mat. One more time like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Let's float through our sun A a few times. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, ramp all pose, hop step or travel to the front of your mat. Let your torso hang heavy over your thighs. Grab your opposite elbows, sway back and forth. Start to awaken up your hips. 
If a chest expansion is in your practice, now would be the time to take it interlacing your fingers behind your back and your spine nice and long. And on your next breath, bring your hands down to meet your toes. Toe heel your feet together and slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll up to a neutral standing position. Right away, inhale, mountain pose, hands high to the sky. Square your hips towards the front of your mat and bring your toes together to touch. Relax your shoulders down your back and rotate your pinky fingers in. Roll a little bit taller, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands through heart center, let your torso hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, create a long flat back and neck. Exhale, high plank and hold, first high plank of the day, let's set it upright, shoulders over wrists, heels over toes. Align your booty with the rest of your body. So rather than sinking down or up, we want a long line of energy. Same thing with tabletop here, you guys. Bring your gaze a few inches forward. Let's take that shot around in nice and slow. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders a few inches in front of your hands. Exhale, low plank and hold. 90 degree bend to your elbows, nice and tight against your side. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip your toes, thighs come off the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog, booty high. Let's do that one more time, floating nice and quick. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, half step or travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to the plank, chaturanga dandasana, first full chaturanga flow. You want to just meet me in a downward facing dog, always option to skip those chaturangas. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, travel back to your knees. Let's grab those weights right away, focusing on our arms, giving our legs a little break. Palms are face up. It's bicep, down, up, down, lift, lower, up. You want to add a little more sit back into your toes. That works your core. Up, up. For eight. Seven, add a press in six, five, you've got four, last three, only two, and one, watch me, it's lift, palms flip, lower, down, lift, flip, lower, down, for four, lower, last three, lower, only two, Lower. Last one. Weights come down. Put them here. Bring your hands to heart center. We're still on our knees. It's a lift. It's right, left, left, right. Switch it left, right, right. Starting to work our legs. Stay in that squat, you guys. Left, right, left, right. Switch it right, left, right, left. For four. Last three, on your knees in two, last one, meet me on your knees, grab those weights, hammerhead curls, palms face in, it's lift, you know where we're going, sit back into your toes, lift, lower, up, up, for eight, Seven, six, five, you've got four, and the press in three, last two, and one, and the press, it's lift, palms flip, up, palms in, lift, press, down, lower, for four, last three, only two, let them go in one, finish it out. Hands to heart, second set, start with right. It goes right, left, right, left, then left, right, rest, right, up, down, right, left, left, right, left. So always taking opposite sides to even out your body. For four. Last three, only two, back on your knees for a last set in one, finish it out, 
Grab those weights for me. Palms face up in this W shape. Wide arm curl, start at the bottom, lift. Lift, lower, up. Lift, lift. Remember, sitting back into those toes works that lower core more for eight, seven, six, five. You've got four, three, and a press in two, and one. Watch me. It's lift for the W, out, in. Lift, W. So palms go out for four. Last three. Only two. Last one. Finish it out. Put those weights down, you guys. Meet me in a high plank when you're ready. It's toe tap. We take it right, left, right, right, left. Add that jack on my count in four, three. Two, in and out, last one. Yes, you can, it goes out, in, out, in. Always option to stay with those taps if this is too much on your knees or shoulders. Quick cardio burst. Find that plank in four, three, two, and one. Hold that plank, you guys, right here. It goes right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Nice and slow, mountain climbers, find your breath. For four, last three, we'll be back here quicker, in two, and one, find that plank. Exhale, down, we're facing dog, hip, deep inhale. Exhale, let go. Inhale, send your right leg high to the sky, flex your foot down towards your back. Square your hips to the ground, deep inhale. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, and hold. It goes right elbow, left, right, left. These are called windshield washers. Focus is right on those obliques. For four, last three, only two, and one. Finish it out, right knee, right elbow. Exhale, low lunge. Grab those weights right away. Inhale, cross up lunge. Weights come high to the sky. Exhale, bring those weights through heart center. It goes to narrow rows. We lift. Lower, up, down, lift. If you want a little more, you can find that balance on that right foot. Lifting that back leg. Always option to stay here. We're actually going to drop your foot. This makes it all focus on your arms. Up. For eight, seven, six, five. You've got four. Three, two, one. Finish it out. Inhale, press and pose. Weights come high to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Open your weights to a W. I'm going to face you guys so you can see it. Hips are squared towards the side of the room. Arms to a W. Big inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, start pose. Reach high to the sky. Exhale, horse pose. Get low. Find that pulse right here. For four. Three, two, and one. Weights come down. We lift, lower, up. Elbows never come higher than your shoulders here, you guys. Find that crunch work in your chest. For four, three, hold it low into. And one, weights to heart center here. Now bring your palms down. Watch me here to lift with a crunch. We lift it up, lower, bicep down, up, lower, palms flip. So you are still squatted in that horse pose. This means that your legs are totally activated. Lower, crunch, up, bicep, up. Bicep, yes, you can, just for eight, seven, six, five, you've got four, three, hold it low, in two, last one, hold it low, put those weights down for 
me get low to jump squat here. It's last. So touching your opposite foot, feet meet together in the middle. Quick cardio burst. You got this for four, three. Find your horse pose in two. And one, get low, find that pulse. Find your breath for four. Last three, only two. And one, grab those weights, inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, find that W. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pull the weights down, flip forward, plant them on the ground. High to low plank, Chaturanga and Dasana. Or downward facing dog. Right away, let's go to that left side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Right, left back. Those windshield washers. Right. For four, three, two, and one. Left knee, left elbow. Exhale, little lunge. Grab those weights. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, weights come through heart center to wide arm pull. Out, in. So palms are face one another, you guys. Remember, you can always lift that back leg. Or if you jacked your knee on the right, try to do the same variation on the left. For eight, seven, six, five. You've got four, three, Two, one, finish it out. Inhale, press and pose, weight tie. Exhale, warrior two, open to the W. Inhale, star pose, reach high to the sky. Exhale, horse, sink it down. This time we find that goal post in four. Last three, only two. And one, start low, arms in goal post right here. It's lower, lift, down. Up. Lift. For eight, seven, six, five, only four, three, last two, hold it low, last one, finish it out. Weights go down, sit low, squat jump, tap opposite foot, feet meet in the middle, it's left. Right, left, right. Always option to just step this out, you guys. This is a great place to be. For four, three, last two, hold horse pose. Last one, get low, grab those weights. Inhale, start pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pull, pivot, plant. High to low plank, chaturanga is where we'll meet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, travel to a standing position for me. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Grab your breath. Water towel off. Now the next series, we go for three minutes. Always option, so I'll keep changing it. Always option to just hold those weights for me or no weights at all. So let's try this right now. So weights are in our hand and just start with a twist right here. I'm not going to use weights because I only have fives, but if you have a three, a two, or a one, this is a great place to be. So just going slow. Again, three minutes. Try not to put your hands down. One of my favorite yoga sculpt instructors in River North used to call these Madonna arms. What that means is she told us that we'd always play this Madonna song in the middle of the yoga sculpt class. People would challenge themselves, you either hold the weights or you would do what I'm doing, which is body weight, and you'd see if you can do it. She was awesome. This definitely got me prepared to always do a three-minute circuit like this. 
Let's, let's, let's go backwards. So if you can, challenge yourself right now with just body weight and see maybe you take this again next fast. See if you can use those three or two or one pound weights. If you can use five pound weights, props to you. It's in and out, it goes up, down. We should start to feel a little burn right here. Yes, you can, keep it up. Last working song, you guys. For four, then we go in and out. Three, two, one. Watch me, it goes out, in. Is it burning yet? Please get those long and lean arms, you guys. Those things we all want. Keep it up for four, three, up and down, two, one. Watch me, it goes up. Yes, you can for four, three, two, back to where we started. One, just pulse, tiny pulses here. We'll do all of that again in quick movements, so a lot faster. Up, down, up, down. Start to feel that burn, don't let go. Yes, you can for four, three, in and out, last two, one, in and out, out. Keep it up. Still weights in your hand, props. For four, three, up and down, two, one, right here, up. For four, looking where we are, three, two, just find that pulse, last one, last 30 seconds right here, you guys. Should be burning, I know. Almost there. Deep inhales. Deeper exhales. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. For eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, a little high. Exhale, let it go, shake it all out. It's crazy how light your arms can feel after that. Let's set this up, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, then fast and next, make it home. Downward facing dog is where we can meet. Right from downward facing dog, inhale, center gaze forward. Exhale, travel to a seated position. Let's stretch this out. You're already done. Inhale, arms come straight. Exhale, slowly lower your back, your neck, and your head onto your mat. Bring your right ankle over your left thigh. Grab from the inside of your left thigh. Flex your feet. Big inhale. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest for a half pigeon right here on our backs this time. Again, always make sure your neck is rested. If you want a deeper stretch, you can push that right elbow to your right knee. Deep inhale. Stay for your exhale. Let's switch it out. Left ankle over our right thigh. Grab for the inside of your right thigh. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. The next breath, let your legs go long. Inhale, bring your right knee to your chest. Get the big squeeze. Exhale, rainbow your right knee over your body for a supine twist. Arms come to a W. Let your gaze go to the opposite side. You can go all through your spine. This is a great spine opener. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And bring your right knee back into your chest. Give it one last squeeze. Let's switch it out. Inhale, left knee comes in. Give the big squeeze. Exhale, twist. Rainbow your knee over your body. Arms to a W. Inhale, bring your left and right knee back into your chest. Get in that tiniest ball you've been in all class since we started. Head comes up to meet your knees. Deep inhale. Exhale, relax for final shavasana. Let your palms hang up to receive the energy in the room or feel grounded with your palms down towards your mat. 
and just breathe right here. Last few moments before class ends, if you wish to stay here, please do. Because this is only 30 minutes, start from tiny movements back at your fingers and toes if you have to leave. Take one last big good morning stretch, the biggest stretch you've done since you woke up. And when you're ready, fall over to whatever side feels most natural for a fetal position, resting your head on your arms. Shavasana marks the end of our practice, but fetal position marks that rebirth. So that feeling that you get the moment you end class and go on towards the rest of your day. And when you're ready, with eyes shut, roll up to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's finish class the way we started. One big breath together. Big inhale, fill up through your mouth. Exhale, let go. Your next inhale, bring your hands to your third eye center. The spot right to your brow. Together as a community here, let's bow and namaste. Awesome job, you guys. Again, quick 30 minutes of sculpt, lots of upper body focus. I wanted to kind of do a class where you can utilize your arms. Again, let me know what you thought. We'll start to do more of these. Those 30 minutes are just quick. Um, you can do it any time of the day. So thank you for joining. Have a great day.